hello guys uh, welcome back in this video we will learn a constraint called point on poly so you need to uh, get into the rigging uh, section and then choose the point and poly but before going into that uh, if you could uh, read out the name it is point on a polygon model so what does that actually mean is I'm taking a sphere okay okay and uh, on the polygon sphere if you could select a vertex that is the point on polygon uh, okay so let me take a polygon cone okay I'm, I'm taking a polygon cone and I'm just uh, moving the pivot point of this cone down so I press D and V and then move it down like that so what I'm going to do is uh, firstly I'll freeze the transformation for this okay so I'm going to select a vertex point and then select the object and then choose this uh, feature called constraint called point and point on poly so here uh, you have all that uh, options what we had earlier in other constraints I made uh, uh, tutorials on other constraints also you can check them so we have uh, the maintain offset and constraint axis and uh, we have the weights so they are self-explanatory based on my previous videos so you could check them out so I'm just applying them and then you should able to see that object whose pivot point has moved I mean uh, not just pivot point but the point has went to the vertex so what that actually does so let's say if I select this model and then do any deformation okay if I do any deformation there then you should able to see that point that object which has been logged to that vertex is moving and uh, when you see this you should get a lot of ideas on where to use them uh, I could see uh, in rigging there is a concept called ribbon IK and they use a follicle method uh, you can use uh, apart from follicle method you can use this method and uh, don't worry about like okay uh, here I've selected a polygon model is it okay to use uh, a locator there okay let me select a locator and then uh, select the vertex and the locator and apply point and poly it's working you should able to see that I will create a empty group okay which is there here and I'll open the attribute editor display display handle or uh, selection handles you can enable just by going to display transform display selection handle so you should able to see I've got a group uh, it's not visible generally but let's see whether it's working or not so let me select the vertex and the empty group and then choose point on poly and you should able to see a transform node which is basically um, I'll go to the display transform display selection handle and if I go to the outliner and select the null and you should able to see there is nothing but it's moved there so a group a locator a object and uh, the best part is you can actually uh, create a joint okay and uh, you can select the vertex and the joint and then move it there okay so if I deform it then you should be able to see the joint is moving all the transform nodes which are constrained right now are moving along with that there are endless possibilities with this constraint if you uh, use it in a correct way I would like to make some uh, rigging tutorials on that but uh, this is exclusive constraint tutorials so I'm sticking with that and uh, we will uh, you know unleash the power of this uh, uh, constraint so stay tuned with the channel and uh, I have other constraints I'll be sharing the description of that constraint tutorials uh, you can check them in the description and please subscribe the channel